Hi, I'm Leah from mdtrails.com. I went to Frederick County, Maryland today to Gambrel State Park and I had an awesome hike. I took the Catoctin Trail and I recorded my track on this GPS device and I'm going to show you how to get the GPS track off of here and get it onto mdtrails.com so that you can look at the track, you can explore it, share it with others, and you can talk about it and upload pictures. So this is a Garmin Etrex Venture HC and all you have to do with most GPS devices is plug them into your computer and this one has to be on first and then you plug it into the computer and okay I'm using a Mac here it should be fairly similar with the PC and the first thing we need to do is get the track off of the GPS device. So we're going to use Garmin's Basecamp software. And there's a little button here that says Receive from GPS. We click it, and then it says Select your Garmin GPS device. Etrex Venture HC, that's the one. And it says Select what you'd like to receive. Waypoints, tracks, routes. We'll take all of those, but what really matters is tracks. I'm going to click the Receive button. Receiving tracks and transfer complete. We click close. And here's the list of stuff that we just pulled out of the GPS device. What really matters is the track that I saved today on my hike. And I just happen to know that when I saved it, this is what I named it 20 Aug 0902. And so that's a track we're going to export so we can send it to MD Trail. So we highlight it and click File and export selected user data. That's the track that we just highlighted. And it's going to ask us what we want to name it. We'll keep the name the same and we'll stick it on the desktop and we click export. And that's it. I'm going to minimize the Basecamp software to get it out of the way. Now the next step is we have to convert that um, the Garmin GPX file that we saved to our desktop to the format that MD Trails wants. Currently, MD Trails accepts KML and KMZ files. Um, that's just another way to store a track. So we're going to use a piece of software called GPS Babel. In case you need to know where to get it, um, there is a link on the MD Trails site on where to get GPS Babel. So I'm going to open GPS Babel. And I'm going to, right here, we have the input options. And I'm going to select my file. And I'm going to get it right off of the desktop. I'm going to use the 20 AUG09 file. I'm going to select it. And the input file type is important, but it figured it out for itself. It's a GPS, GPX XML file. And now the output options we have to choose correctly. Mine's set to Google Earth Keyhole Markup Language. That's what you need to set it to. Yours might not be there. There's a whole list of different formats. You have to go down and select Google Earth Keyhole Markup Language. So select it and that will export a KML file. That's what we need. Click Save File and GPS Babel gives you a little dialog box that says Save File As and you gotta choose a name for it. Let's not call it GPS Babel Output. Let's call it kadoctan.kml and we'll save it not in the documents directory but right here on our desktop so it's easy to find and click save and my Mac is trying to help me find it but I know where it is it's right there katoctan.kml now the last thing we need to do is go to mdtrails.com so we'll go to mdtrails.com as soon as that loads up I'm already logged in as myself, Leo, so we click Add a Trail. Now I've got some tips for you over here on how to add a trail. It'll be stuff I've already covered in this video. Um, so here it just says Upload a Track, and here you have to select your KML or KMZ track file. So choose File. It's going to be on your desktop because that's where we saved it. Go to katoctan.kml and say Choose. Now that's the hard part. All you need to do now is come up with a title for your, your track. I'm going to call this 
um, Gambrill State Park dash dash Catoctin Trail. And for the description, you can just give it a name. You can give it a description later. We'll just say coming soon. And you can always edit your track later and change the description and add to it. So I'll now click send track. We've got the KML file chosen, the title, and some description. When we say send track, it's going to send the file to mdtrails.com. mdtrails.com has the file, and the next thing it does is show you the track that you uploaded as a trail on MD Trails. Gambrel State Park, Catoctin Trail, and here is the map. You can see it's a topographic map. I use Google Maps to, uh, to give this to you. And if you want to be able to see the track up close, you can click Show Me a Big Map and I like to explore it this way and so then you can explore your track you can see I parked right here near the road you can see my path through the park and where I finished up um, if you want to zoom in you can and with the topographic map you can only zoom in so far if you want to be able to really see all see all of the ways that I moved around on the trail change from terrain to map and that takes away the topography, but it will let you zoom in a lot further. And you can actually really see each little step that I took on the trail and how I moved. You can tell that I crossed a stream and the like. So, go back to the normal view. And that's it for a first uh, how-to video on how to upload your GPS track from a Garmin eTrex to mdtrails.com. Go ahead and upload a file. Thank you.